Before we dive into the tutorial for this ramp brush, here's a heads up for what will be coming out this week. In Beeks' last video, he proved that it is possible to sprint through a ramp brush while extending your ramp outwards. This week, he will be covering how to add layers to your anti-splodes ramp brush. All of these tutorials coming out during the duration of this week will eventually lead up to the execution of a five layer ramp brush. If you're really excited about what's coming to the channel this week, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on a single video. You guys heard it. Over the course of this week, I will be uploading videos about adding a layer after layer after layer to your anti exposed ramp brush. Keep in mind that these ramp brushes are going to be using a lot of mats. And whether you want to use it in an actual game or not, it's completely up to you. All I'm doing is I'm presenting to you how to execute this ramp brush. Before you think about executing this ramp brush, there's two other ramp brushes which you need to have perfected. That's the two layer technique and the triple layer. Both of these are super crucial to having this ramp brush 100% down. The sequence we're going to be executing this ramp brush in is pretty simple. You gotta place a ramp, a floor, a wall, then a ramp, then of course, let go turbo building. The next step in this is to start jump walking through it. This is going to allow you to get used to how to swap through building slots. The next step in this ramp brush is to run jump through it. This is going to allow you to get the feel for how you need to swap through building slots just a little bit faster. Once you get the run jump down, it's time to start sprinting through it. You can use this ramp brush to add an extra layer to your anti spose ramp brush when you're above somebody. Anyways guys, that concludes this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. Next video will be about four layer V3 ramp brush. Peace out.